Alright, um, guys, I'm not gonna go ahead and just start the intro right now, but I really want to take this time before I start the intro, um, I want to take this time to, um, Landscaper and his family. I really hope, Landscaper, I really hope you get, um, better, um, and my thoughts and prayers go out to you and your family. And, well, not just me. I've just talked to half of my crew members here on this channel. I told them what's going on, and I'm about to take care of this situation about this topic right now. And they know that I lo I'm a huge fan of GTS wrestling, and some of them are they don't even watch it. They don't even have time to even bother watching YouTube like I I do. But um Lance, I really hope you get better soon and take your time on recovering. Do not speed through it. Um if you have to stay away from GTS wrestling, just hang out with Grim and just try to not be there when it happens when Kurt Bale and all those phonies out there of former GTS superstars but um alright guys I am the unstoppable denominator and welcome back to another edition of the uh, uh wrestling talk um we're, we're gonna be talking about wrestling stuff and it's gonna be pretty much really good stuff here on wrestling talk we're going to be talking about this stuff and also going to be talking about wrestling results and everything. But today is wrestling talk and I was going to pretty much talk about this earlier today um, when this actually happened when it uploaded today. But I was at my buddies. As you guys are watching this now, it's already Saturday. Um, it's probably Saturday morning as you guys are watching this. Um, but GTS super, former superstars went way too far. And Jimmy Controversy, fuck you for blaming this on Grimm. Actually, if you're going to be blaming all you former WWE, well, former GTS superstars, going to blame this all on fucking... Um, Grim. Go ahead. Blame it on Grim. Because Lance is in the hospital. It's not his fault. It's yours fault. Because you keep on ta attacking. Attacking and attacking. Until you end somebody's life. Once you end somebody's life, you're gonna be like, Oh shit, I wish we didn't do that, guys. I wish we just stood away. Listen to the Unstoppable Denominator. Oh, the Unstoppable Denominator is a joke. Why should we listen to him? Nobody listens to the Unstoppable Denominator. Outside of the Unstoppable Denominator's mask, no one does it anyway. Because I have great fucking ideas to save everybody's lives or careers. Or ideas that could help their channels. But apparently, they don't want to listen to what I have for an idea to save their lives, careers, or their channel. Because they think I'm a phony and a joke. Well, guess what? I'm coming bigger, be better, and stronger coming to this channel this year, 2019, with a bang for you guys. So, Jimmy Controversy is blaming this all on Grimm. Yes, this could be all on... There's some people who are mad at Grimm for bringing Kurt, uh, Pete Corvus back. Okay? Well, like I said, I tweeted out to Pete Corvus yesterday. Or even today. And if you have turned your back on Grimm... You've lost my respect. And yet, he lost my re full respect. And I, yet, I have not 
gone on Twitter. Well, I have, but fully haven't gone to do anything much today, uh, right now. As you guys are watching this already, I'm already been on Twitter. Just did what I had to say and everything. But, guys, I've thought... Grim, okay, so Grim thought he could trust Pete Corbis because he said he wanted to end it all. Okay, so he brought him back. So, well, that's the case. That didn't happen. So, now watching tonight's vlog of GTS on Grim's Toy Show Vlogs channel, that Tommy Salami says this is getting out of hand and needs to stop, so he's going to come back and talk to them when he comes back. After hearing that, I have a 50-50% chance that it might ha happen, it might not happen, that Tommy will turn his back on Grimm as well. And 50% chance saying that he won't. Because that's what Pete Corver said. He was going to be on the side of Grimm and everything and but yet what happened Pete Corvus took took it too far he all these former GTS superstars are are getting on the hand until somebody actually ends their lives they're going to wish that they stood away from that situation that's probably what they're trying pretty much trying to do and then they're going to end up in jail. And I, if this whole situation is actually true and real, and that landscaper is actually 100% hurt and injured in the hospital, I'm not just saying being an asshole, this could not, this could be actually real. This night might not be real, but you never know. But Grim says this is fully real, but... But watch, seeing the wrestling video, right? On the wrestling channel. Okay? If the table was thrown at Landscaper's head, wouldn't you think that that table would have been where left where it was? It would have. I don't know. Don't hate me. But that's my opinion. Because we've seen it could have been just fake blood. I'm not trying to say this is fake or anything. Don't hate me for it. But I'm just trying to say is what I'm trying to say. But, guys. If this is actually real. Former GTS superstars are going to realize. Oh, we killed a person. We, w I wish we. Guys, we should have just stopped. Now we're going to be in big trouble. We're going to law. We're going to court. We're going to have to. We're going to. I'm going to jail, guys. We should have stood away. If this was fully real. But. I don't know. Until we find out more details going on forward. And if it keeps going on. And. Everything else. Right. Well. The thing is, I'm trying to say is, I, I really trying to think what I want to say, but to, I'm just going to say this, if Pete, uh, Tommy Salami comes back, turns on Grimm, then you know what? Why the whole point is this whole fucking thing? You're all gonna fucking... Just because they all don't want to be fucking backyarders or anything. If you don't want to be a fucking backyarder, then go. Go on and do your own fucking shit. Leave the belts where you had it located. Okay, so you... What? You're gonna do the... If you were in a WWE and they were... Re, went back to the same place... Where they actually started, like as a backyarder, or something like that. What you're gonna steal f their fucking belts? 
as a champion or something, that's a fucking crime. Yes, I understand they, that they get to keep their belts, but, you know, you walk out of the business with the championship belt in your hands as a champion. That's a crime. Well, CM Punk did it. It was a storyline. No, it wasn't unstoppable. Yes, it was. Because what happened was he left for, I think, until the next pay-per-view. He put his... It was John Cena and CM Punk as both champions. So, this was a whole storyline. Maybe CM Punk did actually leave, but he took... Grim, I mean, Vince told him, look, I'm sorry, and blah, blah, blah. And then the second run, just, he got fed up. So, you never know. <coughs> <coughs> but I'm saying this right now. If any more GTS wrestlers are still on a show that have not betrayed Grimm, I will fucking snap. I, I lost my cool after watching the for the vlog um not the vlog channel but the wrestling channel. But the thing is, Grim did say that he w didn't want to air the footage because the ending of the footage is because YouTube would took it down. Yes, it's true. YouTube would take things down if it was bloody and all that shit. But also my. Other thing is that what if Grimm didn't want to show you the video because they faked it? Think about that. Oh no, Unstoppable, they didn't fake it. Blah blah blah. You're an asshole. Unsubscribe. I'm just trying to say is that maybe I'm not gonna throw this out saying that I'm I'm not. I'm a huge GTS wrestling fan. I've been watching GTS wrestling ever since Grimm started in the backyard with his brother on a trampoline with the action figures of John Cena and everything else. I've been a huge fan ever since then. Until now. And still going to be on going on until... It's fully, if it runs out of business because of this whole situation. I'm, I'm just throwing it out there that there's possibilities that things could be, ha could ha have had happened. It could be fake, it could not be fake, you know? That's what I'm just trying to say what could have happened. I'm just telling you guys this right now. Before you guys all hate me. Because if you guys hate me for just saying this and blah 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 because you're you're being disrespectful to GTS and um you're being disrespectful to landscaper and everything. I'm not being disrespectful. If this is actually serious and everything then my heart and prayers, my thoughts and prayers go out to the, his family and Lance for this right now. Because if this is actually all real and everything, get well, Lance. But, like I said, if Tommy Salami comes back and turns on Grimm, you're, you guys are... I might have to watch, do a video while I'm watching it. Because once, once Tommy Salami comes back, right, from his vacation, that's the day when I'm going to make that video. That day where... I'm going to have my video just in case Tommy Salami does turn on Grimm. 
Just in case. I'm throwing that out right now. Alright, guys. I'm going to end this right here. Um, leave your comments below what you think is going on. And leave your comments below putting your prayers out to Landscaper. Um, do you guys think GTS, former GTS superstars are way go, going way too far? Do they need to stop? Will they ever wake up in, after somebody does die? Do you think they... That they're actually waking, maybe waking up. Oh, we almost killed Lance. We we should stop. I, in my opinion, is, oh, we almost killed Lance. Let's keep on going. That's what. If that's this case, they're they're gonna keep on going to kill people. They'll be seeing their ass in jail, and then once they're in. Their ass is in jail, rotting away. They're going to regret it. Trust me. They will. And any of you former GTS wrestlers that are actually watching this, I hope you all go to jail and rot in there as well. For turning on Grim and beating up on fucking all these wrestlers if you didn't just want to be a backyarder then just fucking leave go to another promotion and win championships you don't even have to leave to go leave with the champion there's fucking other you fucking cha champions out there for christ's sakes oh but i wanted the youtube championship because it's nice for my youtube channel i would love to be a youtube champion just for my fans. Shit, my belts are out there. You know what? You're coming with me. Guys. I'm actually am a champion. In my own eyes. My buddy was a professional wrestler. And it's still a fucking promotion. Wrestling. Oh, still wrestling. He's a 15-time or 16-time champion right now. And I'm going to give you the location. Well, not full location, but in New York. And they had to retire. Sorry. They retired this belt. So what did his boss do? He gave him the belt. To give to me. And it was pretty cool. You don't even have to. If you want to be a champion. Go to other promotions. To be a fucking champion. If you don't want... Because there's so many other fucking belts out there from other promotions you can have. For fuck's sakes. Alright guys, I can see my phone is about to die here. So I'm going to end this here and I'll, I'll bring it back to you guys tomorrow. After GTS is uploaded, even the vlog. Once the vlog comes up, I will air another video later tonight or whatever. You guys time you guys are watching this i'm unstoppable and i'm unstoppable champion and we are out